Hi there, it's Dr. Jim. Thanks for stopping by for a good topic. And uh, this one is on Huntington's disease and very specifically um, what CBD can do to help manage symptoms. So I've studied CBD and the medical effects, the, the emotional, psychological, neurological effects of CBD for a long time now. I've also studied neurodegenerative disorders for a long time now, like Alzheimer's, Huntington's, Parkinson's, MS, ALS. Um, and there's, there, there's a lot of good research going on. Some of it surprisingly dates back to the 80s. I, I couldn't believe when I found those 80s, early 90s. Um, that was really interesting to me. But what I want to focus on is um, how CBD can help manage symptoms of Huntington's disease. And this by far is one of the most devastating neurodegenerative disorders out there. It affects around 30,000 people in the United States um, and with another 150,000 being at risk. So it's, um, it's more rare than Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Uh, but it's, it's a terrible disorder in many ways. But one of them is that by the time an individual starts to uh, exhibit the movement disorders that are associated with Huntington's, the disease is already rapidly progressing. It's already there and it's already moving. So it's, it's tough to get ahead of this one. It's tough to uh, diagnose it early. Now, there are some medications out there that help. There are treatments that help to manage symptoms. Unfortunately, there is no cure. And to my surprise, researchers have been studying the effects of CBD as a potential treatment for Huntington's disease since the mid-1980s. So, Huntington's is a rare inherited neurodegenerative disease of the nervous system, and it causes profound disabilities in movement, mental health, and then eventually dementia. And it is known, it, it's, it's caused, or it's known cause, as far as we know now, is a faulty gene literally called the Huntington gene, and it causes toxic proteins to build up and cause damage in the brain, leading to the neurological symptoms that we see. So we've known about Huntington's for a very long time because George Huntington, back in 1872, exhibited uh, or, or saw a lot of the signs and symptoms exhibited and then wrote a paper called On Korea. And for a long time, you've probably heard this. The, 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 the disorder was called Huntington's chorea because of the movement components. And physicians, scientists thought for decades that Huntington's, Huntington's chorea was simply a movement disorder. But we now know that it's a disorder that causes lots of psychological issues, cognitive symptoms, and it is not a movement disorder alone. So there are three hallmarks to Huntington's disease. Movement disorders, cognitive problems, and mood issues. Many times, the mood and the behavioral symptoms precede any motor or movement difficulties whatsoever. Although symptoms are always going to vary by the individual. But by the time the physical problems develop, the disease has already progressed. Movement disorders include chorea, which is literally involuntary jerking and writhing movements, and dystonia, or muscle rigidity and contracture. There are other movement symptoms like the following. Slow or abnormal eye movements, impaired ability to walk, difficulty maintaining posture or balance, speech difficulties, and eventually problems with swallowing. So eating becomes unfortunately a major challenge later in the, in the progress of the disease and malnutrition sometimes is a part of the program as well. 
In terms of cognitive problems, we see things like this. Difficulty with organization, slowness of thoughts, inability to learn new information or novel information, impulsivity, inability to prioritize or stay on task, and lack of awareness of one's own behaviors. Now, in terms of mood problems, these include sadness, apathy, irritability, withdrawal, suicide, suicidal thoughts, and sometimes suicidal actions, and fatigue. Huntington's is also known to be associated with co-occurring disorders like obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, manic behaviors, and bipolar depression, which makes it a very complex disease. It's not just movement. It's a lot more. Now, in terms of progression, after the person's diagnosed, new symptoms appear, the condition worsens, and deterioration occurs progressively over 10 to 30 years. Functional abilities decline, clinical depression may lead to suicidal thinking, and eventually the individual will need assistance with all activities of daily living and personal care. Ultimately, the disease will render the individual helpless and unable to move, speak, chew, or even swallow. The individual will become uh, confined to a wheelchair or their bed, pneumonia, infection, injuries, falls, and other complications will lead to death. So it's a very sad, complicated, chronic, progressive disease. Now, let's talk about treatments. There are some treatments out there that are being used. Um, some are very helpful. One drug that has been approved by the FDA is Xenazine, and it is used to treat movement disorders and involuntary jerking or writhing. It comes with serious side effects, though, of triggering or worsening depression and other psychiatric symptoms. Many of the uh, antipsychotic and antidepressant medications that are out there are also prescribed, depending upon the co-conditions, the co-occurring conditions with Huntington's. Psychologists, therapists can help, counselors can help the individual to work through complicated emotional issues and behavioral problems. Therapies can include managing behavioral issues, developing effective coping mechanisms, communicating effectively with others, and maintaining realistic expectations as the disease progresses. Now, this is the most exciting part research findings on CBD and Huntington's disease. Research on CBD as a viable treatment option for Huntington's began in the mid-1980s with a small study. It only involved three people, but it was a nice start. They did not respond well to traditional prescription medications for their symptoms. So all three participants were administered CBD, and they experienced reductions in their movement problems and for several days after the CBD was given. Other studies soon followed in the 90s, and they produced similar positive results. CBD reduced the movement problems associated with Huntington's disease. Now, because CBD has neuroprotective properties, that's important, neuroprotective, some researchers believe that it can delay onset of the disease or prevent the death of striatal nerves, which are found in the basal ganglia of the forebrain. This area is responsible for motor movement and reward perception, movement problems, depression. Targeting this area could prove effective in treating both movement problems as well as depression. In 2010, 
A research team reported a reduction in cellular response related to a decrease in the number of CB1 receptors in the basal ganglia. They reported that when CB1 receptors were activated, it promoted neural survival and anti-inflammatory results. Cooling that part of the brain down with CBD had very positive, um, a very positive impact. Researchers published in the very prestigious British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology found CBD to be effective in treating movement symptoms. They found no negative side effects or toxicity involved with its use and reported CBD's powerful properties as an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, neuroprotectant, and anxiolytic or an anti-anxiety medication. So there you have it. I've written a good article on it. If you're a reader and you really want to get in to this information, please read the article. Uh, stay in touch with me. Come back to the, to the blog, drjimcollins.com. You could visit collinslearning.com and ceu.academy if you're looking for some continuing education or compliance training. But until next time, my name is Dr. Jim. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you back real soon. Thank you for watching the video, and I'd like to show you my new book, Living Longer and Stronger with CBD. It took me about a year and a half to write as I scanned hundreds of articles in prestigious journals, peer-reviewed medical studies, examining the effects of CBD for various physical conditions, emotional and mental issues, and neurodegenerative conditions. And I condensed all of those findings into one book. I believe that there's something in here for everyone. So if you're interested, follow the link to the book on Amazon. Thank you so much.